right, guys. So uh, we're just about four weeks out from the Olympia. We had a long, long day today. Um, arm workout. I feel pretty good. Um, I actually feel really good. I feel exactly where I should be at four weeks out from the Olympia. I'm not shredded, but I'm starting to get hard. I'm starting to get a grainy look to me. Things are starting to happen and I'm making changes on a daily basis. Um, this is the fun part of bodybuilding when you really can see the daily changes. I was actually saying tonight that I can see a difference from this morning. Where I woke up and now my, my body's even harder and tighter and fuller and better in just a couple of hours. Um, this, when your body is fine-tuned in your diet, your nutrition, your cardio, your supplementation, your training, everything is 100%, then you can literally see changes upon the hours. So this is what we're at, you know, and, and this is where a good coach comes in handy. And that's why I need Chris. And Chris Aceto looks at my pitches every single day just in case something like this is happening where I could, I could literally burn off four pounds in a day. So he took a uh, look at me this morning. He said, no cardio tonight. So I'd already done my cardio this morning. No cardio tonight. Tomorrow's going to be a high day. I had a pretty good workout today, considering I'm still under 100 grams of carbs. Um, got a really good pump. And, and uh, after looking at the posing video, we went in the locker room with some decent lighting. I could really start to see detail that wasn't there a few days ago. Certainly wasn't there a week ago. And the changes I've made in a week are going to be crazy when you see another week. And I'll still have three weeks left. And then another week, and I'll still have two weeks left. So a month is an eternity. All you people on the board saying, oh, he ain't going to be ready. You don't look right. You don't know what a month is in bodybuilding terms. I try to get eight to 10 reps, eight to 12. But as I get heavier, if I can't get eight, it's too heavy. If I'm still getting 12, I'll go up and go up and go up. So I did 10 on that last one. With 50s, I'll go up to 60. You know, we could be, I could be ready to get on stage in a couple weeks, you know, but I want to be 100% full bursting at the seams and hard as nails. So, I hope you get what you can from this video. I hope you enjoy it. Um, it wasn't crazy hardcore, heavy nuts training, but uh, it is what it is. It's what it should be at about four weeks out. And uh, I'll be filming again some more videos. I want to thank Nick Del Toro for coming out. Thank High Force Nutrition for putting me in this situation where I can train like a beast for the Olympia. And thank you, Muscular Development, for giving me the opportunity to reach these fans. So I don't have a a good lever there to pull a lot of weight. But I should learn from my biceps because they're one of my best body parts and I can't train them heavy. You know, it's more of a just a squeeze thing. I can't use a lot of weight. I tried that with my chest. It's made improvements, but it's still tiny compared to my arms. Ah. 
years just when I started getting a little bigger things started tightening up a lot more as I started getting older 10 years ago I was almost 30 so things started to get some little tweaks and aches and things had to pay a lot more attention to stretching and you know taking care of the muscles I used to be able to just run in here and terrorize the place without thinking or worrying about anything. Now there's a, more muscle, more time spent stretching it. Makes sense. I go middle finger, it's almost too easy. So, it's pretty good. Basically wherever I can go, the closest I can go without hurting my wrists. I try to bring my hands in as tight as possible without putting too much stress on the wrists. 
Um, that way I'm not using all chest. Um, I come in and I try to make the tricep do most of the work. So I go in on the line, put my ring finger on the line, keep my elbows in tight, and um, you know, I, I can't come all the way down. It's just an impossibility. Keeping constant tension on it, squeezing, making them burn. Um, and you can go quite heavy with those. That's why it's a staple in my tricep workouts pretty much since I started working out. The one arm dumbbell tricep extension. It's something I started doing when a few years ago I couldn't, uh, couldn't can't reach over my head. I don't have that flexibility, plus it hurts my shoulder. So I either do them two at a time on an incline bench, or I do them one at a time across my body. And I can't lie, I was watching Mike Libatory do a, a video a few years ago, and he was doing something similar to that. So I, I gave it a try, and, and I was able to do one arm tricep extensions very effectively without aggravating my shoulder. And, um, and it works really good. It's constant tension, just burning them out, going 12 to 15 reps and, uh, until it feels on fire. And that hits more this outer head here, um, just the way the angle that you're at. I can see the striations, but it's a fine balance, man. Like, do I want to see striations and look flat? Or have it be billowing and fuller and rounder, which will help my shape? All right, guys, you want to see a day in the life of Jose? You're going to pretty much get to see everything. Want to see it? You got it.